Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Shaw TV. This is the Chiefs Playoff Report. I'm Varney DeBartolo. Well, the Chilliwack Chiefs traveled to Penticton on Tuesday night to take on the undefeated Vs. A win by Penticton and they would play for the Fred Page Cup. A loss by Chilliwack meant their destiny would no longer be in their control. Let's get to the highlights. Chiefs playing this one without 20-year-old defenseman Brandon Kachuk, who suffered a broken wrist in Sunday's game in Chilliwack. After a scoreless first period, BCHL leading scorer Jay Can taking matter into his own hands. Six minutes and eight seconds into the frame, wheeling into Penticton ice and circling the perimeter before letting go a shot that gets by Hunter Miska. That's goal number nine of the postseason for Hand, making it 1-0 Chilliwack. Chance for the Chiefs to double their lead here in a three-on-two rush. Brandon Potomac drops for Jake Larson. His shot is blocked by Dante Fabro. The ensuing rush up the ice turns into a three-on-two for the Vs. Dakota Conroy down the left wing sends it cross ice to Connor Charchier, who bags his 11th of the postseason, and this game is tied at one. That's a tough break for Chilliwack right there. It doesn't get any better just under four minutes later. Chiefs having trouble containing the V speed. Riley Alford dashes through the blue but can't get it past David Jacobson. Chiefs unable to get the puck out of their own zone. It's Matthew Serratori and Cody DePork working hard down low. And Serratori fishes the puck loose and curls to the corner to find a wide open Jared Hilderman. That's his first goal in 96 games and it's a huge one putting the V's on top 2-1 after 40 minutes of play. You know the next goal would be a massive one in this contest and in the third period, the dump in by Patrick Newell is going to be picked up by Tyson Jost. No goals in his last eight contests for the rookie forward until he's able to slip a check and get to the high slot before spinning and firing one past Jacobson and that makes it 3-1 Penticton. Then, Cody DePork with a puck behind the Chiefs net is able to find time and create space before feeding Cam Amantea in front for his fourth of the playoffs. V is getting left alone much too often inside Chilliwack territory. Four unanswered goals by Penticton made it 4-1. Chiefs needed an answer and needed one fast. Just past the midway mark of the period, Jake Larson gets the puck in the corner and quickly springs it out front to Mason Bow, and that's his fourth of the playoffs to cut the deficit in half. And that gave the Chiefs some life and energy as they had Penticton on its heels for the latter stages of this frame. Brandon Potomac left wide open to the left of Miska, but he's thwarted by the V's netminder. Then Jake Han goes for a skate with the puck. His shot is blocked by Gabe Bass. The rebound goes to Bennett Morrison with two last game, but he can't beat Hunter Miska in this contest. All sorts of urgency and pressure by Chilliwack after that Mason Bow goal. The V's were under siege for quite some time. Here's Craig Puffer circling up top and then skating down low before sending it back high. The one-time shot by Vincent DeHarnay is blocked. V's did an outstanding job blocking shots in this game and holding off the Chiefs' attack. But then with 2 minutes and 19 seconds remaining, a little deja vu from Sunday night here in Chilliwack. Except this time it's Brandon Potomac who gets a little shove from Gabe Bast and knocks over Hunter Miska. The Chiefs get a goaltender interference call. Take another look and you can be the judge of that call. Nonetheless, that penalty forced Jason Tatarnik to pull David Jacobson. And with five on five action on the ice and the net empty, Penticton ices this one away for good. Steen Cooper will get the goal and the Chiefs outshoot the V's 9-5 in the third period, but it's the home side able to hold off a desperate Chilliwack squad and score three times on just five shots. Chilliwack drops his third straight game in this BCHL third round. And should mention these two teams played some pretty disciplined hockey over the last couple of games. Chiefs did not have a power play opportunity in this game, while the V's on their only chance, like they did on Sunday night here in Chilliwack, converted on just the one opportunity. With the win, Penticton moves to a perfect 3-0 and clinches a spot in the BCHL final. Here's Chiefs head coach and general manager Jason Tatarnik. Tough loss for us for sure. We uh, we started off well. I thought we um, carried the majority of the play in the first period and uh, the first 10 minutes of the second, and then uh, Penticton found the equalizer and then found found the the goal ahead goal, and they really came at us real hard the last 10 minutes. So, you know, in a span of 10 minutes, we uh, went from leading by one and to down by one. So, you know, it was a, a tough way to go in the intermission. 
You take away the first game, you know, we were pretty rusty, but there's uh, two empty net goals involved in those goals against. And, you know, but on average, we have given up to five to four goals a game. So that's not a, it's tough to win hockey games when you're giving up that many goals against. But, uh, you know, we're, we're scoring three goals a game, but, um, you know, on the defensive side, we've been uh, giving some goals up. So it's scoreboard watching time now for the Chiefs no longer controlling their own destiny. Chilliwack needs a Penticton win in Nanaimo on Thursday night to live another day. If that happens, Chilliwack will host the Nanaimo Clippers here in Chilliwack at Prosper Centre this coming Saturday night. Have a great Easter weekend everybody and we'll talk to you again next week right here on Shaw TV.